First, let me welcome you and um, also specially welcome the chairman and members of the of the Atiku Okowa Presidential Campaign Council in River State. We called you this morning to intimate you what happened um, late to early hours, of the, late yesterday to early hours of this morning. At about about 11.30 to 12, I received a call. And the caller said that, look, the equipment at the site where that was being prepared for the PDP presidential rally are on fire. And I told myself that is not possible. So that is they're on fire. So okay, let me go and see for myself. So I asked my driver to bring out the car and took um, three policemen. Let's go and see what's happening there. And this, the location is in Rainbow Town by Amadeama. As we approached the site, we saw a lineup of police Hilux vehicles on the right side of the road. And the policemen were looking at the fire. So as we approached them, I, I was about to tell my driver to, to stop so I can talk to the policemen. The next thing, the, those policemen who were watching the fire opened fire on my vehicle. They started shooting at the vehicle. So I told them to, to, to just keep going, to, not to stop, to keep going. So we drove off and we were shot from all sides. I realized, I, I looked at those vehicles and they were, they were ELOX, police ELOX vehicles attached to the governor of River State. Attached to the, to the governor of River State. Now they shot one of us. Uh, our tires. So as we were going, the driver was having difficulty driving. And we got to the Oando filling station at Ratamani. And I said, okay, clear by this filling station. So the driver cleared. And this police Silox vehicle, five in number, drove past us, heading towards Ada George. So this is what our state has been reduced to. The site was being prepared. This governor who said he was giving us a, 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 the stadium to use cannot stand us preparing another site for a rally that he doesn't want to hold. He sent policemen attached to him to go and destroy equipment that are clearing the place. And as I speak to you now, he has barricaded the place with government house police to make sure that press men don't get to the site. He doesn't want the press to go and see. He doesn't want them to go and see and video the equipment that are on fire. He has used government house police not the regular police under the Commission of Police. Police attached to River State Governor are the ones that have barricaded the place. This is what the state has been reduced to. Now, I am calling on the Inspector General of Police to please call the police attached to Nelson Wike to order. They want to reduce this state into a state of anarchy. They want anarchy in River State. 
They have attacked our members, supporters of Atiku Abubaka, over and over. We have been complaining to the law enforcement agencies. We have written to the police. We have done everything we can. Now, these are not talks. These are policemen attached to the governor going out at night, going out at night to destroy equipment that are working at the site. I call on the president of this country, Muhammad Buhari, to please call the governor of River State to order. He cannot cow us. We must declare, continue to declare and stand as supporters of Atiku Abubakar in this state. Rivers people stand for Atiku Abubakar. We will support him and there is nothing he can do. There is nothing we can do. The Rivers people will vote for Atiku Abubakar. If he likes, he should use convert the police attached to him into his private army. Whatever he does, Nemesis will catch up with him. But we stand with Atiku Abubaka and God Almighty stands with us. And I want to assure our people in River State, remain firm. This will pass. In the next few months, this Nebuchadnezzar this evil governor will soon pass and a new governor will come in this state. God will give us a better governor than this evil governor. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm open to your questions. Okay, uh, my name is Uchen Bidewo. I, I report for today in a fair My question is, this, has, this is coming from police now. Have there been any communication with the Commission of Police and River States and what has been this reaction? Well, we are we are in communication with the police. They are they. I'm sure they are, they are doing what they know how to do best. Right? But we are in communication with the police. Okay, sir. My name is yeah, Rico Tika. Yeah. You said you received a call at about 11:30 last night uh, that your proposed venue for the rally was on fire. The call is it from a member of your support group or somebody else? I don't want to. I don't want to disclose the person, but the person will have to um, talk to the police. So okay. don't make his name public now. Okay, sir. Where is the proposed venue for the the rally, sir? Rainbow Town, Rainbow, near Amadia, just by Amadia Ma. Okay, sir. With the situation on ground now, what is the fate of uh, this uh, expected uh, campaign? A typical campaign in the state. We will, we will, we are in consultation with the, with our national presidential campaign council. They will tell us what next to do.